She wants your help. Zsa Zsa is standing by now in Palm Beach, Florida. She had a tiff, you see, with Delta Airlines, and when we asked them to join us today, they said they were unavailable, uh, unavailable but they did say that Ms. Gabor's suit was without basis. Here's the background on the battle. Irrepressible Zsa Zsa Gabor is more than barking at Delta Airlines. She's trying to put the bite on them for $10 million in what's shaping up as a real dogfight in court. I'm a real bitch. Now, it all began a month ago when the airline booted Zsa Zsa off a flight in Atlanta for allegedly refusing to keep her two Shih Tzu dogs, Genghis Khan and Macho Man, in their kennels on the plane. The airline claims the much-married actress hit them with a barrage of vulgarities and called them servants. Zsa Zsa, in turn, claims that rude flight attendants virtually kidnapped her and treated her like a criminal. Well, now she's declared outright war, placing ads in national newspapers, pleading with other passengers on the plane to come forward as witnesses in her suit against Delta. With us now from her home in California is Zsa Zsa Gabor, along with who Zsa Zsa feels are the two victims in this case, her Shih Tzu dogs, they are Macho Man and Genghis Khan the second. Nice to have you with us, Zsa Zsa. Thank you, but we are in Palm Beach, darling, not in Florida, not in California. Well, is this, I hope the sun is as good there as it is in California. Oh, you're in Palm Beach. That is your home, and I, I think you no, were trying... No, my home is in California, in Bel Air, next to the Reagans, but this is my winter home in Palm Beach. Now, are you sure I'm talking to you, Zsa Zsa, not Ava? <laughs> <laughs> no. I might shoot you, you know, I don't see you, but I might shoot you. <laughs> okay, now that I've got all that straight. What about all this commotion? What happened in that airport, Zsa Zsa? Well, I tell you what happened, and this is the gospel truth. I don't lie, and anyhow, I don't have to lie. The plane was full. My husband was in a little accident. He couldn't come with me, so I put my jewelry in a little duffel, a little black duffel, so nobody should know it's jewelry, and I went to the airport. We had to pay $60 for the two dogs. We had pet approval before, one in one in first class, and the second in second class is my housekeeper. I sat down. The little dog was in his Louis Vuitton <coughs> carrying case. That's Genghis. He's five months old. He was with me. And Mary, my wonderful Texas housekeeper, was in the back, 200 seats further back. I never see her until we got to Atlanta. That lady, one of the stewardesses, kept on picking on me. She says, I want your little duffel up. I said, no. Didn't tell her it's jewelry in it because I want to be hold up or killed. She kept on bugging me until a gentleman, a very nice gentleman who sat next to me from Atlanta, said to me, you know, there's always a bitch on the airline. This bitch is going to pick on you the whole trip because you are Zsa, Zsa Gabor. And she did. I said, well, why don't you turn back the plane? I am not going to put the duffel up there. I fall asleep. The hunzipi, they took out my jewelry, you know? So what happened to the dogs? The dogs were never once out of the carrying case, but the whole airplane can testify because they didn't even know there was a dog in the second class. But, but, what, Little, but what happened but, once you wanted to bring those dogs into first class? Well, I didn't bring them in the first class. My one dog was with me in the first class, and the second dog, Macho, who is a seasoned traveler who came to Germany last year when I was making a movie by himself, was with my housekeeper in the second class. There's an international law that you're only at one dog in one department. Anyhow, the dogs were never out, and this bitch wired back to Atlanta. There's somebody, my lawyers will, anyhow, say, who is disturbing the peace. Well, <clears throat> we arrived to Atlanta. Everybody got off the plane, and I said to Mary, now you can come up. We are going to take out the dogs to pee. All of a sudden, five men came on the plane with two policemen. You get off. I said, no, I'm going to West Palm Beach. He says, you're getting off here now, ma'am, a real southern son of a, you know what? And I said, I want the police. The policeman says, I am not interested, ma'am. They dragged me off the plane. Here I was with 10 Louis Vuitton luggage, a housekeeper, two dogs, <laughs> and the jewelry on me, which I already had a hold-up in New York in the world of Astoria. I'm not going to have one more hold-up. Now, so I was you're suing for $10 million. That's not enough. I'm still having a headache. I thought I'd get kidnapped. Let's face it, at 2 o'clock in the morning in Atlanta, I always have people who guard me. I was sitting with at least $3 million worth of jewelry on my lap with two dogs, one little puppy dog, this Genghis Khan. Is it $5 a million a dog? Is that what it's worth? $5 Honey, million? Don't, don't joke around. No, I'm not, not joking it's, around. But it's not the goddamn do dogs. It's my time and my scare and me getting a heart attack and accusing me of lying. I want to meet a pilot who came back on the plane and said, Miss Gabriel and Ruli, if a pilot like that will, will lie on the oath, I would like to meet that pilot. Right. Nobody right. ever came back at all because there was nothing on the plane except lousy food, bad, bad manners, 
and the stewardess who died because I was Zsa Zsa Gabor. Now, I had my ring on, and she couldn't stand it. Now, Zsa Zsa, I want to pause and come back, and when we do, the Delta Airlines people say that you used unbelievable vulgarities yes, and words that were unladylike. I want to it's find true. out what they were. I after, don't want after to this. be ladylike with them. After this, we'll find out what you said. <laughs> I was not ladylike. I said to them, f*** yourself.